Hello friends and welcome to this video. Myself Nivrutti Patil. I am going to explain you the Newton Raphson method as well as how to use calculator for solving the problem using Newton Raphson method. Raphson method and I am also going to explain you how to use calculator to get the solution within minimum number of time. So let's consider the numerical. Find the root of the equation cos x minus 3x plus 5 up to four decimal places of accuracy. First step, we have to rewrite the given equation. So we are writing this equation as f of x is equal to cos x minus 3x plus 5. Then next, we have to take the derivative to obtain the first and second derivative. So first derivative of this given equation is f dash of x is equal to minus sin x minus 3. And second derivative is f double dash of x is equal to minus cos x. Now next we have to assume the initial guess. So to assume the initial guess we know that the root is always lies in between positive and negative values of the function. So to check when the functional value will be positive and negative we are going to put the different values of x in the given function. And for that we can able to use the calculator also. So let me explain you how to use calculator to find the functional values. Now let's open the calculator. Always remember first we have to convert this calci mode into a radian mode. And for conversion we have to press shift and mode button. So you can see here this four number is assigned to radian mode. So press four number keys you will be get here the radian mode. Now to define this function we have to use cos as it is x. The x is available here so we have to press the alpha key then x key and then completes the bracket minus so press minus 3 again x so for x again press alpha and x key plus 5. So plus 5. In this way you can define the function in the calculator. Then press this calculation key. So it is ask you to input the value of x. So first we have to press the value of x as a 0. So press this 0 number key. Then press equal to. So we will be get this cos x minus 3x plus 5 at x equal to 0 value as a 6. So this value we have to write for x is equal to 0. So for assuming the initial guess for x equal to 0, f of 0 will be a 6. Again we have to find the next value of function for x is equal to 1. So to obtain the value of function at x is equal to 1, again we have to press this equal to sign. Then it again asks you to the x value. So we have to input the x value as a 1 and again press equal to. So you will be get as a value as a 2.5403. So this value is the functional value at x equal to 1 and that value we have to write that is f of 1 is equal to 2.5403. And again next we have to get the functional value for x is equal to 2. So these steps we have to repeat till we get the change in the functional value sign. So in calculator again you have to press this equal to sign and the x value we have to input as a 2 press equal to. So we will be get as a minus 1.4161. So this value we have to write here f of 2 is equal to minus 1.4161. So you can observe for x equal to 0 the functional value is positive. For x is equal to 1, the functional value is again positive and for x is equal to 2, the functional value is negative. So in between these two values, the sign changes occur and as the root is always lies in between positive and negative values, so the root of this equation is lies in between the x value of 1 and 2. So we can choose any one value from this 1 and 2 as an initial guess to obtain the root of the equations. So which guess should we choose? We have to choose the guess in a such a way that which gives the functional value closer to 0. 
because the root of equation is nothing but the functional value is equal to 0. So in this case for f of 2 this value is nearer to 0. So we have to assume the initial guess as a 2. So let's take the initial guess as x1 is equal to 2. And now we have to check this initial guess is correct or not using this convergence condition. So for convergence conditions we must have f dash of x value, f double dash of x value and f of x value. So f of x value we already calculated for this f of 2 that is a minus 1.4161 so we can write f of x1 value as a minus 1.4161 then first derivative value that is f dash of x1 value will be get as a minus 3.9092 and f double dash of x1 value will be get as a 0 0.4161 this value also you can be obtained from the calculator very easily now we have to use these convergence conditions to check this initial guess is correct or not the condition is absolute value of f of x1 into f double dash of x1 upon f dash of x1 bracket square must be less than or equal to 1 now putting these values in this formula will be get the value as a 0 0.03851 which is less than or equal to 1 so our assume initial guess is correct and when you obtain the initial guess by using this method, you will always get this value as a less than or equal to 1. Now as this initial guess is correct, so we have to find the next approximation using the newton raphson formula. So we are having the functional value, its first derivative and we also check that initial guess is a correct, that is the value of 2. So let's find this next approximation by using this newton raphson method formula that is x2 is equal to x1 minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1. So f of x1 value and f of f dash of x1 value we already calculated. So we can put that values that is this value is 2 minus minus 1.4161 upon minus 3.9092 then by solving this we will be get the value as a 1.63 7, 7. So this is the next approximation and in examination also you have to show the first iteration in detail and then the next iteration you can show in the tabulated form also. Now to get this value you can use the calculator to reduce your times. So let me explain you how to use the calculator for finding these values. So for this purpose we require for this formula the functional value, its derivative and then third one is the x2 value. So this function value we are going to define as a a, this first derivative we are going to define as a b and this x2 value we are going to define as a x. So how to define these values in calculator? So for this purpose again, so press alpha a, again press alpha is equal to so a is equal to here a value we are going to use as a functional value that is a cos x minus 3x plus 5 so write it as a a is equal to cos then alpha x bracket complete minus 3 alpha x plus 5 so here the a value is defined now to define the b value first we have to place this colon sign so this colon sign again you have to press alpha and then colon then again alpha b now this b value we are going to define as a first derivative so you have to press again alpha equal to don't press this equal to sign always remember you have to use this equal to sign which is assigned to alpha key so this first derivative is minus sin x minus 3 so we have to press minus sin alpha x bracket complete minus 3 again use this colon button so alpha colon and this x2 formula we have to define so x2 we are going to assign to x so press alpha x is equal to so alpha equal to then again x1 
you have to again use as a x so alpha x minus f of x1 upon f dash of x1 so this upon sign is available for this key so press this key and here the function we are defined by a and derivative is defined by b so you have to use here alpha a and to get at this point you have to press this downward arrow key then alpha b so in this way it will be defined so function value its derivative and the formula for newton raphson will be defined in this way in the calculator then press this calculation button so when you press the calculation button it is ask you to input the x value so initially we are using the initial guess as a 2 so we have to put this value of a 2 by pressing this 2 key then press equal to so you will be get a value as a minus 1.4161 that is this functional value when you press the equal to sign again you will be get the b value which is minus 3.9092 so here you will be get the same values and again when you press the equal to sign you will be get the answer as a x2 that is 1.6377 so we have to use here 1.6377 now same way again when you press the equal to sign you will be get the new values for the second iteration as we are replacing the x1 value as a x2 so x value now becomes 1.6377 so no need to input it again and again it automatically takes the value that is the previous value of x and then you have, when you press equal to sign you will be get the a value as a 0 0.0198 then again pressing equal to sign you will be get the b value that is the first derivative minus 3.9977 and when you press again equal to you will be get the value of x2 as a 1.6426 that is this is the new approximation of the rule we have to prepare a table and then we have to write these values so x1 value for the first iteration is a 2 so we are writing the functional value will be get as a minus 1.4161 its first derivative will be get as a minus 3.9092 and x2 value will be get as a 1.6377 now for second iteration we are replacing the x1 value as a x2 value so here you will be get this same value so x1 value is 1.6377 when you put this value in the given function you will obtain 0 0.0198 and in its first derivative you will be obtained as a minus 3.9977 and x2 value will be obtained as a 1.6427 this same values we have calculated using the calculator so you can see here the same value we have obtained as a x value when you press this up arrow key you will be get this b value that is the first derivative this is the same value and a value so this is the same value of this now same fashion we have to obtain the new value of x2 for the third number of iteration so this process we have to repeat till we get up to the four decimal places of accuracy now again we have to place this calculation sign and it is asked you to x value so we have to use this same x value as 1.6427 which we obtained in the second number of iteration place this equal to sign so we will be get the value of a as 8.450 into 10 raised to minus 7 again placing equal to sign we will be get the b value that is first derivative as minus 3.9977 and again pressing equal to sign you will be get as the x2 value as a 1.6427 so this value we have to write in this third row so you can see this same value we are repeating here because we are replacing the x1 value as the x2 value then functional value 8.458 into 10 raised to minus 7 its first derivative minus 3.9974 and x2 value 1.6427 so you can observe here these two values are equal so we obtain the accuracy as per the given in numerical therefore this x2 value as a 1.6427 it is the root of the equation cos x minus 3x plus 5 so in this way you can obtain the root of the equation 
using calculator by using this Newton-Raphson method very easily. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.